To celebrate reaching 2 million subscribers on my YouTube channel, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool cake. Actually, there is no cake at all. It's all just chocolate, icing and M&Ms. And to make it, we're going to start by melting down some dark chocolate. Put a bowl in a pan of hot water to make a bain-marie. And break in your chocolate. I'm adding quite a few more bars so we can make our chocolate layer nice and thick. Then leave it to slowly melt. We're going to be pouring the chocolate into a non-stick cake tin like this. When it's set, we can expand the sides and remove the bottom to help get it out. If you prefer, you could try using one of these silicon cake moulds. Once your chocolate has completely melted, remove it from the water and pour a nice thick layer into the tin. Next, we need to carefully tilt and rotate the tin to spread a nice layer all the way around the inside. Then sit the tin down so it can start to set. You can put the bowl of chocolate back in the hot water if you like, and if you need to, you can add some more later. As the chocolate is setting, pick the tin up again and give the inside another coating to help build up a nice thick layer. You need to keep repeating this process over and over again. When the chocolate is nearly set, you might find it easier to spread it around with a spoon. And if you need to, add more chocolate from your bowl. When you're done, it should look like this. And now you need to leave it to set. Next, we need to take a sharp knife and cut around the rim to make sure the chocolate is nice and flat and sits on a plate without wobbling. And now you can see just how thick the layer of chocolate is. Do make sure the chocolate is completely set. Then you're ready to remove the tin. Carefully lift off the sides and peel off the bottom. And there we have our chocolate bowl. And we're going to be filling it with different types of M&Ms. You could fill it with whatever sweets you like. You can fill it up as much as you like and I'm filling mine right to the top. When you're done, take a plate, sit it upside down on top, and flip it over so it sits on the plate like this. To cover it, I'm using this ready-made icing. Open it up, unroll it, and lay it over the top. Now it's starting to look like a cake. Use a knife to cut off any excess. And I'm putting a bead around the bottom to help it all stick to the plate. Of course, you can decorate it in any way you like. I'm using some red icing and a white triangle to make a YouTube play button. Then I added some buttercream icing around the top and I stuck on my numbers. And I want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you who subscribed to my channel. And that's our surprise cake complete. To cut into it, I'm using a nice sharp knife. 
The chocolate did cut in a straight line. And when you remove it, the sweets start to roll out onto the plate. Pretty cool, huh? If you like, you can always add some more to build up the effect. It's great fun to make, and it looks amazing. You can add any sweets you like, and you could make it as a surprise birthday cake for someone and not tell them what's inside. You can take one at a time, or as I like to, get in there with a spoon. And you can even use them to help decorate the top. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more